it's really quite a shock to the system to be told you have cancer. Numbing, initially, and then scary. Been down, crying my eyes out sometimes. It's estimated that one in every three people in this country will be affected by cancer. If you haven't been diagnosed yourself, the likelihood is you know someone who has. 60-year-old Bud Groenerstein was diagnosed with bowel cancer last year. It spread to his liver. He's now a regular visitor to the Fountain Centre, always accompanied by his long-time partner. It's helped both myself and my partner immensely in coping with the cancer. For more than 10 years, the Fountain Centre has been supporting cancer patients and their families by offering information, advice and a wide range of complementary therapies and counselling services. The Fountain Centre is like a little oasis of calm in the middle of, of the hospital. Um, it can it sort of offers so much. There's, there's so much here that you can be doing. It's, it's a bit chameleon-like. Whatever mood you're in, whatever you're needing, the Fountain Centre seems to cover it. Today, the Fountain Centre has grown to over 650 visits every month, offering more than 20 different therapies, supported by around 100 volunteers and trained therapists. It's um, a wonderful place to be associated with. You feel, as you just walk in the door, the energy of it and the nurturing nature. And uh, I just think it's invaluable. Located within the St Luke's Cancer Centre at the Royal Surrey County Hospital, the Fountain Centre is closely aligned with the medical oncology team in an integrated cancer care approach. The way I see it, we provide the medical management, so the radiotherapy, the chemotherapy, the general medical management, and the Fountain Centre adds something else, and that's really the complementary side. Um, so if a patient needs something that isn't necessarily medical, but is still going to help them, so let's say aromatherapy or massage or that sort of thing, um, that still can really help a patient feel good as they go through the sort of journey while they're being treated, um, then that can be a very valuable thing to add. The Fountain Centre's location within the hospital's cancer centre has great benefits for patients in terms of accessibility and proximity to their medical treatment. The only downside is that some people assume it's part of and therefore funded by the NHS. The Fountain Centre has been around for in excess of 10 years um, and with that the teams have got to know each other so you know they feel like part of one big team although you know there is that se separate and independence as there should be because the Fountain Centre is a charity and you know it's got to run that way. The Fountain Centre has an active supporters club who raise thousands of pounds every year but the task is enormous and they need so much more. Mike Mills' wife has breast cancer. He's raised £8,000 for the Fountain Centre on a sponsored bike ride. When my wife was diagnosed, I felt I wanted to do something for other people who were going through the same thing that, that we were going through and, you know, give something back and, and help such a wonderful small charity to try and make a real difference. We have to raise at least £125,000 every year just to cover our running costs and continue to provide our valuable services to cancer patients for free. Every time I walk into the Fountain Centre, I feel welcome and, um, and embraced and warm, and I just needed to give something back. Um, so I asked a group of my girlfriends at work if they wanted to do a bake sale, and, and they all loved the idea, and I told them how much the centre meant to me, and actually, some of them um, had family members that have also used the Fountain Centre, so they were aware that um, it was a really important place to be and, and have available for people. Despite 10 years of growth, even today the Fountain Centre only sees about 20% of the cancer patients from St Luke's. And there are many thousands more people with cancer across the Surrey, West Sussex and Hampshire region who could benefit from the wonderful support at the Fountain Centre. 
I think every hospital in the whole world should have a fountain centre actually. Um, there are a lot of sceptics that uh, are non-believers but um, I think if you try all these different things that are out there, I have a great belief that the body is incredibly powerful, it has an incredible capability of healing itself and I think that the wonderful therapists that work in the Fountain Centre can suddenly bring a little bit of light to a patient's life who is going through some pretty traumatic times. And it can empower a patient actually and have you know, a really positive outlook, it can be a real energy booster, um, it, it can do so much good. Now I just live every day for itself. I mean yesterday's gone, tomorrow's not here. So today is the important one. To find out more about how the Fountain Centre could help you, or to give your support to help the Fountain Centre continue the important work it does, visit our website www.fountaincentre.org or call us on 01483 406 619.